Adam Castro here, and in today's video, we're going to go ahead and talk about uh, the topic of does fat convert into muscle? Does fat convert into muscular development? So uh, stay tuned because we'll be talking about that in just a moment. Before we do, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel as I will be posting videos about topics like this that will be helpful for your uh, journey to health and fitness. And, um, and be sure to share this with anyone you feel uh, might uh, benefit from this information. And be sure to leave a thumbs up and a comment below. I hope you enjoy this video. Alright, so let's get into it. Um, does fat convert into muscle? Uh, well, the simple answer is no. There's no way that fat can just magically turn into muscle. Okay, you're, you're, you have fat and then you have muscle. Okay, your muscle is underneath your fat and so any bit of muscular development that you build will build underneath the fat. Now if you lose body fat, okay, that doesn't necessarily mean that it is turning into muscle. In fact, there are many people, people who spend most of their time in cardiovascular activity that are actually lowering their, lowering their body fat and their muscular development at the same time. And so fat does not simply just magically turn into muscular development. Um, these are two very, very separate issues. We increase muscular development through anabolic signals to the body, which can be done through weightlifting, which can be done through eating in a caloric surplus, um, eating higher fats and so that, so that we uh, increase testosterone and things like that. That is how muscular development is uh, made, by putting our muscles through a range of motion and building strength in that range of motion and also other contributing factors that uh, help us to stay anabolic, which meaning just meaning that we're growing, we're, we're um, growing muscular development. Fat is stored energy, okay? Fat is stored energy, that's all it is. Fat does not convert into muscle, fat converts into energy, okay? Now, um, now let's go ahead and talk about these um, workouts that are fat burning workouts that are gonna melt your, the fat off of your body. Um, well, this uh, could be very, very false for a certain individual who is eating in a caloric surplus because guess what? They're not gonna be burning body fat, they're gonna be burning the food that they've been eating because they've been eating more than what they've been burning, okay? When we constantly are eating and when we eat more than what we burn, we have plenty of fuel to, uh, to pull from in the food that we've been eating so our body does not need and does not want to take away from the stored body fat on our body, okay? And then that body fat is a, an accumulation of excess energy that we're getting through food, okay? So, how do we know if we are actually burning fat? We know if we are in a caloric deficit, if we're taking in less calories than what we're putting out in our physical activity, then we know somewhere down the line we are actually burning body fat, okay? The other way that we can make sure that we're burning body fat is in our meal frequency. Okay, if we're constantly, constantly uh, taking in carbs and replenishing our glycogen, then we are less likely to be burning body fat and more likely to be burning the glycogen fuel. Okay? But if we wake up and we work out fasted or we do cardio fasted or we do something fasted, we're a little bit more likely to tap into our fat storage um, than if we had just replenished our glycogen, okay? Or let's just say we, uh, we took intermittent fasting tools to make sure that we, um, that we were burning body fat instead of fuel from food, okay? This is something that I actually do. I don't eat until after my workout. Sometimes that's not until 2 p.m., that's my first meal. But I've planned it accordingly so that I still get a, an efficient amount of calories within the full day to be able to make up for the fact that I'm in a, I, that I'm, uh, in a fasted state when I work out. So, uh, so no, fat does not turn into muscular development. We cannot magically convert fat into muscle. Fat converts into energy 
okay? And it will only convert into energy if we are not um, constantly in a caloric surplus getting plenty of energy from food, okay? Um, so how do we make sure that we lose body fat and gain muscular development? We want to be in a resistance training program that helps us to build strength, helps us to build range of motion and strength in that range of motion so that our muscles are developing, so that we're burning more calories at rest through our muscular development. And two, we want to make sure that we're in that caloric deficit so that we know for a fact that we are burning body fat off of our body as for energy instead of the food that we're eating, okay? If you like this video, again, leave a thumbs up. Go ahead and leave a comment. Tell me what you think. How do you utilize maybe even fasting or how do you utilize um, meal timing or workout timing, things like that, for you to be able to um, grow muscular strength and lose body fat. And, um, and again, be sure to share with anyone that you think might find this information useful. Okay? My name is Adam Castro, and until next time, I hope you take care.